Hey, and welcome to the club. This is your August transfer looking sharp, and it is just as darling as it is easy to make this month's design. Your club couture shipment this month comes with everything you see here. The B-sized looking sharp transfer and three paste packets in storm, almond, and guava. In addition to my transfer, I've gathered some little dishes here to use, one for each paste color. I've chosen one of my favorite surfaces, our five and a half by seven and a half inch Couture Boutique board and base today. And I've got some other tools, our transfer trimmers, a multi-tool, my small squeegee, a marker, and a fuzzing cloth to use. And I'm using my work mat today to protect my table. And I always like to have a water bath and paper towels nearby for quick cleanup. I'll start by removing the base from the board so that it lays flat and will be easy to work on. I'll cut the transfer apart on the cut lines and then mark the backers to coordinate with the design, which just helps for easy cleanup. Now I'll just check my placement here, matching up this little guy's body and face to make sure he's centered just right on the board. Now I'll peel the backer off the transfer and stick it down on the fuzzing cloth. And this just picks up a bit of lint to soften the adhesive. Then I'll put it down on the board. And I've got it all the way over to the right because that will just leave room for his face. I'll smooth it out, making sure there are no bubbles. And then prep my first paste color, which is Storm. And I'll do that just by kneading the packet first to mix it. And then snipping the corner so I can squeeze out just what I need. You'll notice the registration marks here. They correspond to the ones on the face, so you'll know that you have them lined up just right. So I'll make sure to chalk those as well as the body. I'll just load up my small squeegee and smooth it over the screened areas. Then peel it up and wash. Now it needs a few minutes to dry, but I'll prep my next piece by fuzzing it first. Once it's ready to go, I'll just line up the registration marks here. And you can see through the screen to make sure you've hit that little crosshair mark and I'll get it smoothed out. Now note that I'm trying to avoid really pressing it down over the gray part just to minimize the risk of it pulling up. Now I'll prep the next paste, this time almond, the same way, just by kneading the packet and snipping the corner. I really don't need a lot here, so there's more for another project. I'll load up my clean, small squeegee and smooth the paste over the face. Then peel up carefully and wash. Once the face is totally dry and it does dry quickly, I'm ready to do the cheeks and nose. I'll fuzz this piece just like the others, then use the registration marks again to ensure it's placed just right. And I'm just touching it down where the screen is because when layering a light hand works the best. I'll then mix up the third paste, guava, and then I'll snip off the corner so I can squeeze some out and squeeze just a little bit out. It goes a long way. I like my multi-tool for these little details, so I'll load it up and just go over the cheeks and nose and then get that peeled up. Oh man, he is just so cute. I'm done with the registration marks now, so I'll just use a wet paper towel to take those off. Now I'll prep the little phrase, looking sharp, by fuzzing it, of course, and then center it right on the board. I'm keeping the word up from the bottom just a little bit so that when I slide it into the base, it won't get covered up in the groove. Then I'll just use my multi-tool to go over the letters with guava and then peel it off. And there he is. This project is so quick, so easy, and I gotta say it, your desk or shelf will be looking sharp with a little help from our darling hedgehog design this month. 